situation. So um, hopefully they have every little opportunity they get, they just utilize it. That is all for them. That is what you're looking to uh, put together here. The referee today, is, uh, Salima, she is uh, one of the three referees who will be in Qatar for the FIFA um, World Cup, obviously. Uh, she was also in Cameroon, where she officiated Zimbabwe and uh, the silly nationals of Guinea, where yeah, Guinea so won by two goals to one. So they're trying to change the things. Continent. They have history to make here and qualify to the World Cup. It's always been coming, and they're hoping they can change the script again. And obviously looking at how the likes of... Uh, Ramalepe have held on things for South Africa, the right the missions, and they've been the very uh, compact in midfield. Obviously, you, you, you think about how things have worked out. You're not expecting enough uh, tweaking. Mamadi, Trudy, Kabachi, and uh, Lanti well, playing every game for the Tunisians, and South Africa making some tweaking. Five of the changes yeah, have to yes, come yeah. in because of some injury concerns. Again, yeah, it's good to see her back on the pitch again because she's one of the most uh, impressive players in this uh, team. She's one of the players that can open the defence line, so it's good to see her back here, where she belongs. <laughs> so to where she belongs, and that is where she wants to also put the uh, team back it's on. Cement uh, role as one of the legends in South Africa in terms of uh, having played a game for the side and also qualifying them for the World Cup back in 1993 when she had the opportunity of uh, uh, playing for South Africa. She also qualified them to the Kosovo Cup before, re before retiring from the game. She's really been able to put together a very good side and competing at all levels here in Africa and the world as well. But we now goes in for a tackle and she obviously acknowledges that uh, it was a very clumsy one against uh, Siopo Sin. We remember she's already coming out of an injury which really bothers us up against him. The college, she did everything there the pass, the movement, the ball, the pace. This is what we want to see for the South Africa team. Again, the finish. But you could tell the coach said that during training, these things, they, they, it's so easy, they, they score goals. But, you know, when you're playing, there's a lot of stuff going on uh, in this player's head. So it's just all about, they, they have like the quality. Said, uh, she's one of the players that can open any defense line in this tournament. She's so uh, smart. She can read the game. She's very, very intelligent. So I am not surprised again. And scrappy there for the Tunisians to get out of the defensive lines. They've been caught there by the way the South Africans have set up. The early cards coming out now from the Rwandan official. And uh, Lauren Smith uh, might be booked here after a foul here on uh, McNoon. And so that is, uh, well, Looking forward to the decision that's uh, coming in there from the official, obviously.